Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do reduction. Now before you continue with this video, you need to familiarize yourself with special angles. 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. On our Cartesian plane, we also have our basic 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. Now, when we're doing reduction, the reason we're doing reduction is because reduction helps us to solve huge angles but reducing them to 30, 45, 60, or 90. Let's take the following example. If I gave you sin of 30 degrees using special angles, you know it's 1 over 2. Now, if you press in your calculator sin of 150 degrees, you will see it also gives you 1 over 2. If you press sin of 210 degrees, you will see it will give you negative 1 over 2. And sin of 330 degrees would also give you negative 1 over 2. Now all these have the same answer, 1 over 2. What is different is that we have a slight change in signs. But if you look, you notice first quadrant and second quadrant is positive, whereas in third quadrant and fourth quadrant is negative. But from your basic Cartesian plane, you already know that information. Now, how does it work? How do we reduce? these big angles like 150, 210, 330 to 30 degrees. We have the standard Cartesian plane. So in the first quadrant we usually have any angle that lies between 0 and 90. The most famous ones are the special angles 30, 45, 60 and 90. Then in the second quadrant we have 180 minus a certain value. You would notice that this certain value would always lie between 0 and 90. In the third quadrant we have 180 plus and in the fourth quadrant we have 360 minus. Now notice that I am specifically using the values that are on the horizontal line. So I am using 180 minus and 180 plus. 180 minus, 180 plus, 360 minus, and then theta could, the first quadrant could also be 360 plus, but usually we leave it as an angle. Now, what are we doing when we are doing reduction? Number one, you are going to see which quadrant you're in. So if I gave you 150 degrees, 150 is in the second quadrant. It lies between 90 and 180. So if I say 150, then I must know, okay, it's lying between 90 and 180. So which quadrant am I in? Then you're going to write it down. When I say write it in the form that you see, so it's going to be 180 minus, 180 plus. So you're going to use one of these reductions. Then, after we write it in the form, so we've taken this angle and we've kind of like placed it in a position and we've rewritten it. So it's still the same angle, but it's written in a different form. Then we go into do a thing called reduce. Now the steps for reduce is you're going to look at the sign. Now this you are familiar with. Which quadrant? What is the sign of that ratio in that quadrant? Then you're going to write the ratio and then you're simply going to write the value that is in the little block. 
Let us do sin of 150. Now, first of all, I'm going to see what quadrant is sin 150. Sin 150 is in the second quadrant. So I know. What does it become? I still have my sin. But instead of 150, I'm going to have 180 minus 30. Now, why? Because 180 minus 30 still gives me 150. So I see in which quadrant and I wrote it in the form. I wrote it as 180 minus 30. Now I'm going to reduce. Sin in the second quadrant is positive. And then I'm going to put my ratio. The exact same ratio I was using, I'm going to put it down. Sin. And then I'm going to put my little angle that was at the end. But notice I'm not putting the sign. When we are doing the value, it's 180 minus is standard. What I'm interested in is what's in the little block. So the value that's in the block is 30. Now look, I'm on sin 30, which is a special angle. So it becomes positive 1 over 2. Let us do another one. Cos of 225 degrees. Now, step one. What quadrant is 225? It lies between 180 and 270. So I know I'm going to have cos, open brackets, 180 plus. 180 plus what will give me 225? 45 degrees. Now, I'm going to reduce. Cos is in the third quadrant. What sign is it? It's negative. Then my ratio is cos. And what is the angle that I have? 45. Now it's your special angles. So you'd have minus root 2 over 2. Okay, let's go and do more challenging ones. First, we're going to see the quadrant. Then we are going to rewrite it. After we rewrite it, we're going to do our reduction, which is sine, ratio, and the angle. Right. We know from our standard previous knowledge that our signs are all students take coffee. We have a standard value. We have 180 minus, 180 plus, and 360 minus. Now, let us look at how they may ask this in the exams. When they give you a question like this, you have to do reduction step by step. Now, if you look, you're going to see which quadrant is. Sin 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant. Which means that my sine is positive. My ratio is sin. And I'm going to have theta. Do you notice I'm taking the value that should have been placed in the block? Then I've got cos. 180 plus. 180 plus. is in the third quadrant. Cos in the third quadrant is negative. So I've got negative cos theta over. Cosec doesn't need a reduction. It's in the first quadrant. So I'm going to leave it as cosec theta times sec. Sec in the fourth quadrant because I'm working with 360 minus, which is in the fourth quadrant, sec in the fourth quadrant is positive, sec theta. Now, till here is what you would learn with reduction. Later, we're going to continue using more information to simplify this further. Now, this is the one star where they give you without values. What happens when they give you with values? Right. If they say, calculate the following without the use of a calculator. Now, what we need to look at is cos 240. 240 lies between 180 and 270, which means I've got 1 minus. But look at the reduction now. The squared is not the angle. The squared is outside. You do the reduction and then that answer 
you square it. So, if I got cos 180 plus 60, it's in my third quadrant, which means that I have a negative cos. What angle am I working with? You work with the end, which is 60. But you have to still square this value. So you still have your 1 minus. Minus cos 60 degrees squared. That square must go to the negative also. Now, we'll have 1 minus. A negative squared is positive. Positive cos, cos squared 60. Now using your special angles, we know that cos 60 is a half. As soon as you use your special angles, the ratio falls. Just like how when you're using a calculator and you press shift, the ratio falls. And when you're using Pythagoras, as soon as you use the Pythagoras, the shift or the special angles, the ratio falls. So I got 1 minus a quarter which is equal to 3 over 4. So these are the two ways that they can give you reduction. One is where you would simply reduce. Later you will learn how to continue through identities. And the second way is where you would do reduction and then you would end up with special angles. Thank you for watching.